I want to start with your meeting with Elon Musk, especially after he raised some issues about the energy usage of Bitcoin mining. What did you talk about that meeting? You know, it was just a very casual exchange of information. Um, Elon Musk had tweeted uh, some thoughts around Bitcoin and its energy usage lately. And it was really a forum for a number of Bitcoin miners just to talk about what they're doing relative to Bitcoin mining in North America, what their relationship with renewable energy is. And I think that's a story that doesn't get told enough. And what's important to note is Bitcoin miners are using more renewable energy than any other major industry on average. 76% of Bitcoin miners utilize renewable energy in their mix up. About 40% uh, estimation is, uh, about 40% of global Bitcoin mining is powered by straight renewable energy. And th there's a couple of key reasons for that. One is Bitcoin mining uh, takes energy as an input. That's what helps drive the security for Bitcoin. It's a very important tool that allows disconnected parties all over the world to, uh, to, to, to run this financial system without having to trust each other. And the story that needs to be told is you find this energy you find low cost energy where there's a surplus of energy, where there's energy that's not being consumed because there's a renewable generation source strained it out there, congested out there that doesn't have uh, energy, doesn't have a buyer of that energy. And Bitcoin miners are the buyers of last resort of strained energy. So the, the discussion with Elon was really I an opportunity for a number of large Bitcoin miners to talk about what they're doing uh, relative to uh, their energy make makeup. I, I've got to ch challenge you on a couple of points there, J Jason, because they kind of flew by. And we've got to be a little careful. Statistics, as we all know, can be sliced and diced. Um, Bitcoin miners are not the largest users of renewable energy. I think what you mean is that on, on a per capita basis, more miners as a percentage may use some renewable energy than, say, the big broader industrial base. I'm not quite sure. There is clearly yeah. a problem of uh, of carbon intensive uh, and non-renewable energy use. A lot of it, coal, is the problem with Bitcoin. Uh, these, th in other words, you just said a bunch of stuff that suggests there's not an issue here. There's a huge problem here with the footprint, the carbon footprint of Bitcoin mining. Uh, I, I would disagree with that statement respectfully. Uh, Bitcoin mining is a very, very, very small part of global emissions. Um, Bitcoin mining consumes about less than one, per one tenth of a percent of the world's energy. And in doing so, it creates an open and free financial system. It's a very noble use of that energy. And on average, it is using more renewable sources than other major industries, more so than uh, you know, other industries like gold mining. Bitcoin mining uses a lot less energy than gold mining. So I, I think that's driven by Bitcoin mining's indifference to location and time of operation. Okay, I mean, I, 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 you, again, we got to challenge you on what you just said. I apologize. I don't mean to keep challenging you, but uh, you know, bit, Bitcoin mining may consume less energy than the aerospace industry. I don't even know if that's true. What I do know is the concerns are real and valid. Uh, Elon Musk has raised them, but so have many, many investors out there. And this is a decentralized operation, right? You can't necessarily control the energy sources of a lot of the mining that's going on in Bitcoin. So the, the, I guess the issue I'd put to you is how do investors in the space who want to know that they're being looked after on sustainability feel some comfort when it comes to, uh, to Riot and to, and to other big miners that you're taking it seriously? Okay, Amanda, let, let me answer your question this way, actually. The, the outcome of the discussion with Elon Musk was a group of miners deciding we need to be more transparent with our energy makeup and be telling the story to the market what our relationship with renewable generation is. That's what a lot of us do individually already. Riot has operations in upstate New York. That's 90% hydroelectric power. Our recent acquisition, Winstone US in Texas, uh, is a part of the ERCOT grid, which has a growing and growing abundance of solar and wind energy in that grid. So. The, the resulting conversation uh, with Elon Musk was miners coming together to start what's being called the Bitcoin Mining Council, open forum for all miners to join. And we are working collaboratively to disclose our energy makeups and uh, tell a story to the market, let investors see for themselves uh, the energy, the generation mix of the miners that they are considering investing in. Jason, would you like to see more regulation as it would perhaps lend more credibility and more transparency to some of these efforts? 
I think when you look at an energy market like ERCOT, what you see is a, a model market with low energy costs and a growing base of renewable generation sources. And that's driven by a deregulated marketplace. Economics drives ERCOT, not politicians. And that lack of regulation has made Texas one of the, I'm sorry, the largest uh, state when it comes to wind generation and a rapidly growing amount of solar generation. Generation Without any regulation, the ERCOT energy mix up went from 18% coal in 2020 to 13% coal in 2021 so far. And it's expected that's going to continue to decrease because it has a marketplace that fosters renewable generation development. Solar and wind is increasing rapidly year over year in that market. And I think market incentives are driving the result that people are looking for in renewable generation absent government intervention. Jason, as you have noted, one of the appeals for some of the space uh, and certainly to own Bitcoin and use Bitcoin is to stay kind of beyond the reach of government. And yet, as China has shown, governments still have a lot of influence here and some haven't really weighed in on what they're going to do about cryptocurrencies, particularly. Uh, how big is that risk? I think uh, one of the main risks around the Bitcoin industry uh, it is regulatory risk. Um, governments can step in and they can make life more difficult in the industry. But what's important about Bitcoin is, is it is a tool for censorship resistant money. It is a tool that gives the common individual sovereign control. So while governments can come in, they can regulate fiat on ramps and off ramps. They can introduce reporting requirements. Ultimately, this is a free and open uh, global financial system uh, that is at a point, it, it has grown to such a network effect that it ultimately, I believe, cannot be stopped.